Hi there and welcome back. Um, I'm filming straight after um, the last video so <clears throat> obviously these are still on the desk so if you missed the earlier video <clears throat> we've been making uh, some small notebooks and we've just you know got the covers ready. Um, so the other night I thought I ought to go in my books and have a look if I've got any uh, daisy images so I just wanted to take a look at those so I didn't find uh, many at all so that's those I'm gonna put that in my scrap paper that's still the kit what we've got left of the kit I haven't uh, reprinted it off yet um, and they're just the the bits that we've got left so We've not got a lot at all, which is very good. But um, yeah, I'm panicking, <laughs> thinking I might have to print something, something else out. So I've got a couple. Um, these are the same book. Um, so I've got these two. Now I actually think they would be just nice as tags, or do we want to see i do feel as if they'd probably be a little bit small for inside the, a journal if i did them like that i mean that is kind of the size that my journal would be hmm yeah i might do that you know so if we did that yeah let's do that I'm thinking I might leave that um, with the, you know, rougher, rougher edge. Obviously, I need to cut it down, but for now, let's just um, do that. I'm not keen on that bit, so perhaps put a little bit of paper over, over there. So fold that down. Okay. Right. Oh, I could cut that down anyway. Yeah, of course I could. Yeah, probably do it to there. Okay, let's um, get the chopper chopper out. And in fact, I'll go to there first, and yeah, just just as soon as that brown ends. A little bit more. Yeah, and then whatever else it can be trimmed properly um, after. I think I'm going to cut that off a little. So that's that. That's. I think I'll cover um, those because obviously I've ended up with, you know, half pictures and cover that as well. So need to think about that. Um, I need to take, let me think about this, because I obviously can't take that much off the top. Hmm. So let's take it down to as much as I could. And it's there. Yeah, let's have a look what we've Oh that one's not too bad. So yeah, if you're doing a project, any project, you know, have a look through your books and see see what you've got, what you can do uh something with. So I think they're a bit pointless. Um so this So, see again I could just uh, fussy cut it out I'm thinking pocket and I'm thinking maybe I've that as the front panel let's um let's cut this bottom 
off. And let's put it to there. Let's cut as much off here and here and see what kind of size that gets us to. Just gonna use this as a right, so I think I'm gonna take it to there. So take that off like so. So I will make that into a pocket and I'm thinking probably use that as, as the background. Yeah, so let's pop that off there. Like so, I'll just put this against here. Okay, so I've cut this one um, a little bit smaller and then cut two of the sections of um, the writing. So that will make two pockets. So that's that. Then we've got this, which is very, very small and it's obviously quite an awkward um, place because it would have made a nice... Um, Page. But I mean, you can see it. Because I'm thinking, yeah, I could fussy cut it out, but I don't think it'd really look. And imagine cutting those bits out. And I thought you can't really cut it like that. So yes, I think I will use it as a page. I wonder if do it like like that. That one side is short and the other side is is longer yeah do that so let me just straighten that up let's have a look about oh yeah it's going to want some some off isn't it so where do i want to take some off don't want to take any off that side because it would obviously make that even shorter so let's try how much does it? Um, yeah, it wants quite a bit off, but not enough that I could have um, flipped it over. Unless, no, because, oh my goodness. <laughs> let's, um, let's cut that off there. Like so, that's still gonna be too long. Just thinking, just bring that in just a little bit. Yeah, that's still plenty. Yeah, and then just take a little bit more off. I think that'll be okay. So that can be a page as well. And then I've got this book. I've also, I've got two of these books. One of the books um, are in um, the monthly Patreon draw where you can pick your own uh, prize. So there's one um, in there. And it's got this daisy paper um, here, which I'm going to try and rip out. And I'm guessing it's got it at the back. Oh, look at that cap. Zaggy grown up. Oh, how lovely. Let's um, rip that. And then, because uh, it's an alphabet, we've got the D for Daisy. Um, so I'm going to take this apart. So let's find um, the middle. See if I can get my scissors in here. So just snip. Snip. It's not one that. So B is for bluebell. Oh, there's still one that. <coughs> So 
there's that daisy one. So we'll take that and then because I've started it, I'm going to take it take it apart. Because I'm thinking I'm oh that's beautiful. I love that picture. Um I'm thinking I could make some nice note box um with these because they're nice full full images. It's really weird that it's not got a stitch there. Obviously I'll have to join the uh, picture back up with the with the writing. Oopsie. Oh, this must be the one that's like glued glued in. Oh, I managed that without, without ripping it. I am surprised. But I'll obviously want some some trimming. The next one then I will just put these in in a file for now and then come back to them um, after I've done the daisy project really beautiful book again this is in. Okay. Where's the stitch in? Let's see what's in that one. Right, oh, let's put the next one. Yep. That should be should be it. bad right it's a shame when you've got nice but I think it would be a bit pointless saving it but then I wonder if it would make a writing board if it had been a bigger book it would have made a nice um writing board so I'm, i'll save it for now and see um see if i can come come up with anything so they won't go in in a file and i'm not totally sure uh, what i'm doing with that yet and i'm not totally sure what i'm doing with that so these will pop up um another time so that's another little uh job done uh don't need that anymore Okay, so we need some um, tea stained paper. So I'm going to have a look through through here. Um, I've seen a bit of a, a bit of a mess. Uh, it says we need to keep all the line stuff together. That shouldn't be in there. So that's all that. Oh, might use that. I think. Oh, look at that. That's. Um, in fact, I'm going to save that. That's what Rita Jensen sent me. Pop them with the lined. Oh, I never think to pop some music in. Must um, must do some music, and then these are like tissue ones. Put them in there. But what are these? Oh, they're those lovely blue ones that Megan sent me. I'll put those at, at the bottom. And I've got more lined ones. I'm going to save those for like full size uh, journals. More tissue ones. Let's put them in there. And then that's it. And then it's tie back. Okay. So pop those in. Pop those in there. 
I've been wanting to give that just a bit of a tidy uh, round. So this is the tea stained paper. As I say, I do need uh, to get some more made up. So um, let's do the bigger ones first. So I'm wondering if I fold them um, lengthways how they would fit, they would be perfect. So let's try and fold them nicely. <laughs> so one, two, three. and five yeah. so that's those um, if I did that for that would there be enough be a little bit short so I wonder if that would be for that one that would be perfect but I'd have to bring uh, it that way so this can be for, for this one so let's get a pencil can I find one oh yeah so put it to the bottom and if I just cut under that line that should be fine Hopefully the cutter will do do them all. So I said under, didn't I? Yeah. So that can go for that. Then this one wants coming in. I think it might want some height taken off. Oh, it still needs coming in more. Would you credit it? I should have measured it. And I'm still not measuring it, am I? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I should have, should have measured that. I'll just do that again. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's fine that way. So, come on, measure it on you. Well, I say measure. I just mean get my pencil. And then we'll just go under under that mark that's that okay so that's those two so next I'll do uh, the paper bag because that's the biggest and then I should be able to do um, another one let's get the ratty tatty bits at the bottom and then I can probably discard the bottom bits. Yep. Can't see because they are all, all the same colour. That's three. Four. You are best to look through your tea stained paper and use these um ones what um you know some of them rip um yeah you know, sometimes i've got like ripped ones and stuff and they're perfect for for doing your notepads it's like five i think so yeah so we'll measure it from the top and measure that and then I'll just go under it so look yeah that's perfect let's have a look what else it could do 
I could do that one, but I would have liked to have taken the tops off. So I'm going to cut this. Yeah, we'll do that one. So I'll go under that and that'll get rid of all those um, bits. I don't think I want five sheets in these smaller ones. So I think I'll just do three. I think that's enough. And still needs a little bit off. Do it that. It's because I've not folded them into each other. They're obviously all loose and moving, moving around a little bit. Let's um, right, it's fine now. So that's that one. Right. So I'll save those there. Um, I'm just going to put three, that's a uh, card rather than paper. So I'm going to put that back in my thing. That's card as well. Well, not card, but it's definitely thicker uh, paper. I use 100 GSM for just normal uh, pages. So that's one. So... Okay, so this one's for this one. So I'll just mark that and that. Them back together. Oh, I don't know why I marked it there because there, because that's um, if I marked there, I'd be taking the um, can you see that's the fold side? Silly me, it's a good job. I know, reckon, uh, recognize, noticed. It's a good job. I recognize my mistake, right? Pop that. Up there so that's that one right so we've got those let's have a look at yeah that's that way isn't it oh that could be perfect for that so we'll mark that well i wonder if that bit what's left will do um, that other pad that goes that way so that's that. Oh, it might be too thin. Oh no, it's fine, isn't it? I can stagger them a bit. I say it's only a, a little notebook. Right, so that's that. So when I do do a lot, some of them do I end up with a bit oddish uh, pages. But then I would, you know, just just do them like that. So that's that one. Right, we've three left. So we've got these, haven't we? What's got two in? That's um I'm gonna save these darker ones for journals. I think that's where I'd use the uh, red bush tea. It gives it a nice uh, colour. One, this is just normal uh, tea, so it just takes takes the whiteness off. I don't mind it as pale as this. Um, I don't like white at all, but yeah, this colour's fine. Just takes the starkness out. Right, that's um. Have a look at this one. So that and that. Let's do the next one. So if I've cut that off below, we'll start that there and there and there. That should be okay. Right. <coughs> so we've got that one and 
that one. So that was that one, wasn't it? Is that a bit long? Yeah, it's a little bit long. So just take take a little bit more off. That's that one. And this one. And hopefully then, with those ones what are left over and what's else left over on this one, will be enough for the other one. So I don't think, well, we've not really had any paper waste, which is super duper. Because I do find when you do do a lot of nails, if you've not got any scraps to put in them, you do actually use quite, quite a lot of sheets up. So... Those was like so, and then that went like that. We'd go there and there. So let's take that off <coughs> and that off. Let's have a look at that. Okay, let's just take a little bit more off that one. I think that's uh, right. So we've got all those papers ready. Okay, so some of these I will be able to staple. So first I'm going to put the uh, pages together. And we'll see which ones we can uh, staple. Uh, my staple doesn't go up, so I can only go, <coughs> you know, as far as I can, as far as I can go. So let's see if I could do this one. So just get your papers like so and then I fold that in turn that upside down hopefully the papers haven't moved and we'll have a staple that and a staple there so that's one done okay Definitely be able to get the staple in this one. With only having a couple of pieces of paper, you could definitely just run a bead of glue down there and do it that way. Just do each page and then put it into to your book. I'd say it'd be fine just for a little notebook. But I do find <coughs> stapling a really good good way when they're just small. Small little books is enough. Just have to make sure that that hasn't rose up and, and got caught. So that's that one. Should be able to do this one. I'm going to say if they're nice and flexible, you can do all different um, sizes as long as you can get that, you know, your back flap uh, folded without properly creasing it. So. I think two is is sufficient. Okay. So that's another one. <clears throat> Should be able to do this one as well. And I'm sure I had some more um tiny ones. No, they're just single, aren't they? I won't, I won't bother. I'm going to say if they'd have been double, I'd have put, put a couple more in. Does that fit? Yep. Let's 
still do, do two. Okay, that's that one. I'll be able to do this one. I'm going to definitely put five um, in these. I was just thinking about the, the amount of paper, really. Okay. I put three in this one. So we're going one, two, three. Okay, What's that one. I think there's only going to be the two big ones that I'm going to have to sew. Do, do this one. This one is a bit wider, but I think I'll be able to fold it fine. I think the staples will go through it fine. So I'll we'll do that. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Hello. See, that's once it gets too long, it then, you know, comes too close and you could then uh, staple it together. Let me straighten it back up. Okay. Just. It's hard to tell if it's going to... No, it's fine. I did think it might catch it. Might have to trim trim those down slightly. Let's um Right, let's cut this, cut these down. Ooh, I don't want to go through the bank, do I? No. Sorry, I'm waving, waving the scissors around. Right. Once the the ink, you won't you won't see that, right? So that's that one. I'm guessing these two. I'm not going to be able to. So I'm going to get my thread out. Okay. So I've got some uh, linen thread out, and I'm going to go one, two, three ish under my as well. Get the other one cut while you're at it. So pop that there, pop that there, get me all, oh I need to put the papers in properly then if I want to, three, five, okay. okay. 
I got it pushed right in. Yeah. So I'm going to get through the middle, which is a bit tough because of that linen. Through the top. And through the bottom. Through the middle, through the top, down to the bottom, and back through the middle. Wow. I've gone through the cotton. Nice. I thought I had. And put one of the. Where am I? Go under the thread. Okay. Should be fine because it's only a small one. Yep. Yeah, everything's fine. So. Knot it and knot it again, and then cut the strings off. So that is that one, okay. And the next one, where's my needle? Then <laughs> is it still on? No, it's not on there. Where's that gone? Oh, honestly. See where it's gonna wonder if it's still in the box. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, found it. It's up here. I don't know if you saw it or not, but it was. <laughs> right, so again, I've got to push the papers into the middle. That's a lot easier to, to push. Let's make sure it just moves, so I'm just making sure that that's still um, in the right spot. Sometimes doing a thin one can be quite fiddly with putting the holes in. So through the middle, through the top. You don't have to go through the top, you can go through the bottom. Through the bottom. And through the middle. Like so. Make sure one of the threads is on either side. Pull it tight and knot it off like so and that is them all done so thank you very much for joining me today i hope you enjoyed that and now we've got lots of uh, notebooks for us stash so i shall see you tomorrow for the challenge bye